you know what's funny? We did oh, sorry, so we did the sketch, um, the tools you need, which is the 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 pr- the premise of the sketch is like um, everybody's always trying to help homeless people, mm-hmm. and there's this fantasy all people somehow could self actualize and become like geniuses or you know have MBAs from Columbia or something like this. Like mm-hmm. it's just like school. Like they have to be in the right environment and they have to grow. They have to be. It's like it's like a plant. Yeah. They have to be given the right amount of water and nourishment. And it's like like most people are just bad. It's like the This is what it says mm. in the Bible. Like humans are are wicked creatures. Most people are like defective in some way or another. It's just statistically like that's how it is. Yeah. It's like the eighty twenty rule. People are just. Have you ever heard uh, to become the best version of yourself? That's like a thing. That's the thing that Elliot Hulse says. It's like, we're going to become the best version of ourselves, guys. And for a lot of people, that's applicable. Like, you could you could easily go learn a new language, get a six-pack, get a, another stream of income, whatever it means to you to get become the best version of yourselves. But there's a lot of people who the best version of themselves is dead. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you're – and there's – it's just – you walk around outside, there's – people, like, abuse dogs – I saw this. I saw this lesbian couple once, and they were yanking a dog. They were yanking on the chain of the dog, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And they were, and these two fat dicks. They were like, uh, "It's what the trainer said to do." Yeah, I'm sure. What trainer? Shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. People throwing containers of like styrofoam food containers out in the ground. It's just like, yeah, fucking people are. There's a lot of people who the best version of themselves would be dead. Yeah, the jump mm. rope guy at my gym. Jump mm. roping in the middle of the aisle because he's a fucking attention no! star. No, the place Blue. to find these people is at the gym. Jim, Jim's got a lot of them. If you ho- if you hose down a gym with a flamethrower, you'd be doing a <laughs> service to the world. Yep. The, I, mean, I want to be that day, but yes. The ed- the edge in Warwick, there's yeah. a, a screamer. Is that a truck outside, Chris? Yeah, that's a bus. Okay, can we, um, Trevin? Can you use the bus reducer on that one? The screamer? Who's the screamer uh, at Edge? Because I got to Edge. Does he yeah. scream? Uh, it's probably yeah, Nick. So it's this, it's this short. <laughs> it's this short guy with a beard and walks he has like a beard. This? He walks. He's like always walking. He screams. He's like and he's listening to music. He's like yeah. Nah, I see nah. that guy. I'm and, always, I hate him. And yeah. I think somebody because me and my dad would be like we have to we have to tell somebody about this. like I'm so, I think he got uh, somebody reported him though and like told him like hey you gotta be quiet but he's like he's a screw he's like. The worst. He's he, probably a violent rapist. But it's he walks the, like it's, this. He's got. Yeah. He's got his eyes are fucking touching. Yeah. It's the, sh- um, it's the short. It's the short guy. It's the short Jack guy syndrome. And f- you know what I love about those guys from like a like I I'm an athlete. I play. You know I started. I was a team captain. I'm mm-hmm. not trying to brag. You know what that kid was? He was second string fucking loser. Mm. He was a special teams pussy, mm. who could like do. He could do like. He could squat like 405, but his bench was, and, his, and he's just a shitty player, and his mm-hmm. movements are really boxy on the field. Mm-hmm. And he just looked like a bad athlete in pads. <laughs> and that's like, like every, all you athletes out there that played and were decent, even if you were decent, I don't have a problem with you, but like those types of guys that are loud and over, fuck that guy. Is that why mm-hmm. he screams? Yeah, he screams because he, he screams because he never could start. <laughs> yeah. Because when they call, because your name was never on a sign of a cheerleader. Mm, the other those, those are for starters, you fucking pussy. Go, go ride the bench. The other worst one that I saw was this girl. She'll she'll max out the treadmill like full speed, hold the railings, do the like like yeah. maxed out for like like she's like breaking the treadmill. Yeah. Yes. And then she'll get off of it, do another, keep the treadmill on, do another exercise, and get back on. I love that. Get your money's worth. Can you oh. imagine the the people that own own gyms and also the makers of the equipment, and they're these these. Just like destroying the machinery. He calls all the week. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we got another doctor with a fucking tied up in a, in a tricep press down fucking yeah. set up. And it's got around his like wrists. He's like, get me out of here. That's like, so funny, man. A yeah. doctor. Planet, a doctor. Planet Fitness uh, three years ago. Uh, uh, p- pizza two every uh, first Monday yeah. of every month. Oh, yeah, free pizza, pizza Monday, mm-hmm. and then Bagel mm. Tuesday. A Bagel mm-hmm. Tuesday. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Yep. I never made it to any of those. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I good. regretted yeah, it. Crazy. It's well, uh, Planet owns uh, Edge also. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow, they did a better job on Edge. I don't want to give people the impression that I'm like an anti-human or anti-natalist or something. I think that the I think that other humans. That's all we have. It's not like there's some something better, and it's not like people don't have the capacity for good. It's like anything that's good that's ever been has been a human thing um but the thing the 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 sketch that we did was um the tools you need and it's just it's it's the funniness is how misguided it is to think that you can take a homeless person and rehab them into a whatever like it tech support we got to somehow give these homeless people 
training, job training. <laughs> it's like you bring a you bring a homeless person in, like um, bring in a fidelity. I had a I had a girl. Yeah, I had a girl who worked. She was a homeless like counselor, and she was super libtard, so she thought it was great. But um, every story was like. She'd go in and they, and they would they would jerk off in public libraries. Mm. It's the reason why public library. Have you ever been to a, Have you been to a library recently? No. no. It's full of like video games, magazines. The books are all sequestered away and gone. Like if you go into an average, if you go into an average library, it looks like a damn GameStop because they have video games and like magazines and shit. Because it's catered to. So people the, put their bonus away. Yeah, it's for the homeless people to come in <laughs> who are just there for the air conditioning and for the porn. And they're using library computers to beat off. Mm. Can you believe that? No. And, no. That's and um, so, like the Providence Library, the new one. That's kind of nice. Any ah. library that's like like fall, like you go to Fall River Library. Any library where it's like not a like Providence is near Brown. It's near. Yeah, these, yeah, they won't have that. They, they wouldn't have it here. But any any other place. Yeah. That's not like a rich town. Chris, come on, man. The, <laughs> and um, she uh, the the their homeless people are like they're like um. I know that I know that they're down bad, and it's like you know you'd never wish that experience upon anyone, but they're also like, uh, they're they're also like fucking, like every terrible thing. There's no impulse control. Like they would they, uh, beat off in front of kids. Like they would just mm. do crazy. They just do crazy shit. Mm. Like she'd go into work, and there'd be a guy jerking off in the bed. Like he, she'd look. It's just it's a lot of jerking off. Yeah, but it's like. Uh, Anyway, but well, that's like a meat lot of grinder them, people. Those people should be thrown in a meat grinder. Thinking, thinking that you can take a person like that and rehab them and put them into a nine yeah. to five corporate. <laughs> it's so so funny to me. The thing that the thing that like libtards think that it's all nurture and not nature, and that you can somehow take these these homeless like schizophrenic fucked up people. And uh, yeah. <laughs> here he is whacking it right there. What bro doing? Oops! It? He's taking a picture of the titties. My boner. <laughs> Yo. There we go. I mean, why? If you try to get him back into the workforce, I mean, the, the the only the reason why a lot. I mean, they emptied the asylums and all that stuff. I know that, and there's crazy people. There's a lot of crazy people. I understand, but well, like, it, what, what is the way to coerce them to get back into the to the job force? The one reason why they checked out of society is to come back and start paying taxes again. Like the the one yeah. reason, the <laughs> one reason, and the only thing that can do this to you, if if the only thing that can make you a bum if you're not crazy is if you decide to stop paying taxes, that's when you're out in the streets. That's the, in the, what are you gonna give them a job? They're, they're getting the, you know, they're getting their money <laughs> taken from them, they, you know, to get more of them on the streets, you know? So that's the, the only reason why they're out of there is they checked out of society because society, the toll to live in it is, uh, is extreme, at least in their minds. It is extreme, but uh, I, I think, I don't know, I think they checked out, you know? They, they did mean, check out. They, they, did, they checked out in a great- You can't exist if you check out. Like, they, they'll, <laughs> they'll throw you in the streets. You know what was so funny was, um, for Fish Tank, we, we got a homeless guy to come in and do hide and seek. So we brought this homeless guy in and we were like, okay, everybody's hiding, you gotta find him. <laughs> and he just, he just walked around without looking under or in shit. Like, he didn't look in the closets, he didn't look in it. He just, he just like stomped around upstairs. And was like, okay, am I done? Can I be done? I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> no way. This is it right here. Um, the best, the best game of. I've never been so excited for a game of hide and seek, but now I am. Jeez, I wonder what kind of funny twist you, you put on this one. Skip to the guy, Chris. Skip ahead there, buddy. Was it fucking late? Keep going. Yeah, he's. He's about to there he is right there. Look at that guy. Here's the deal. For every person you find, I'll give you another 20 bucks. Okay? Is he a firefighter or a police? Yeah, he's a, he's a hero. A retired he's firefighter. A hero. He's a retired hero. He's, Pension's not enough. He's, living, he's making 7000 a month pension. <laughs> he's still on the streets. He's 35. Black Rifle Call Company is pretty good. You got this uh, Rockstar Punch here. Let me take that. All right, brother. It's time to shine. Let's go hog wild. They're all upstairs. All right, cut to the stomping around, Chris. So he just did this. He just wandered around. Like, barely looking in. I think that's the first closet that he looked in. Skip forward. Like, this goes on for 10 minutes. It's a, it's a single <laughs> house. Is this is so, this part's so funny. I'm gonna have to turn the light on and get in there. <laughs> you should have gotten someone with a chainsaw chasing him out. All right, you, 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 Chris, you, you, you I like that shot. But when I was trying to find 
people to do this. The first three people, I asked them if they wanted a job or a gig and, like, out, outside of the Crossroads Homeless Center. Yeah. I was like, hey, man, you looking for work? Nope. Like, super, so excited and so happy to tell me, nope, they weren't yeah. looking for work. Hell no, no. What are you crazy? Yes, I'm, not paying, yes. I'm not paying taxes. Hell Fuck no. You. Hell no. What are you talking about? And then one guy, uh, he could, he could, I could tell that he was thinking it was like a get out situation. Oh, okay. Like, he thought I was going to kill him or something. This, which is, I, I guarantee that's what he was thinking. He was yeah. like, I was like 300 bucks. 300 bucks right now. 300 bucks to die. You, come <laughs> you on a, want it? I chased you, you with a bow and arrow. Come me. on a reality show. Well, Warren, what, he thought that? Not, not Warren. Warren decided he didn't want to do it either. He we he got to the place and he was like, I don't know if I want to do that. And Warren's thing was he, he saw the contract, which was like a single page video release that's just like, we can use your likeness in this video. And he and he figured that he was, in, in his head, what he saw was every, um, every rapper talking about how you sign your soul the way for a contract. You sign your soul to the devil. Yeah, that's that's exactly that's, that's exactly what Warren was thinking from a one-page generic video release. Wow. He got JC on the other end. He's, He's like, no, no, no. You don't, don't, we're just gonna use your likeness. That's it. It's nothing else. Fucking idiots. Sixty. They offered me a three sixty deal for this TV show, and I told them no because I don't <laughs> sign with the devil. Yeah, okay. Was, anyway, I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry, but um, oh yeah, the tools you need. So the tools you need is, uh. We're at the, we have a table set up. We have hammers, caffeine pills, rhino dick pills, and the actual job that we're giving homeless people is we're giving them hammers, caffeine pills, dick pills, helmets to go out into helmets Nips. to go <laughs> to go into celebrity neighborhoods and um, to go to Silicon Valley and go get get jobs, aka like hit hit uh, Mark Zuckerberg in the head with a hammer and uh, give him a little rap. <laughs> do some, do some, uh, but uh. uh the, the, there's a part that comes in where the, a guy comes in and he's like the smart homeless guy. And the joke is the smart homeless guy is like, um, hey, is everything abo above board here? I just wanted to make sure that this is like a proper use of city funding and that you guys are registered 501. Like the guy that's there to narc and like bust the, uh, the, the nonprofit. And then we go throw him off into a, uh, off a, in the river, off a, off a bridge. But that, that smart homeless guy joke is really funny to me. It's uh, Ted Danson is the guy that you would have play the smart homeless guy. Yeah. Can you look up Ted Danson? Um, Does a good bum? Uh, what's the da the uh, Larry David show? Uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Curb Enthusiasm Ted Danson, Curb Your Enthusiasm. And it, it, the, the smart homeless guy, like the sharp homeless guy, is really funny to me because um, go to videos and just Ted wants to date Cheryl and just play five seconds of this we don't need to get more than like this this type of guy where they have they have intelligence but you know they've got some sort of alcoholism or something that just like fucked them so bad um that picture's enough we get the, we get the like matthew perry somebody? matthew perry would be a good smart oh. hey buddy how you doing all right pause i'm all right but you could imagine him yeah. ted dance being a homeless guy just being like sucking dick for a needle or something right yeah yeah like cause um, he has to get sure he's done it <laughs> it's likelihood is he high. probably he probably, he probably has, has done it. it'd be like nothing to him rough trade is nothing to these guys <laughs>